Okay. And then Marvin has a thing for us. If you go in the library, Marvin calls you and he's like, Hey, I gotta show you stuff. Because they expect you there to keep you going. Are. Come here. That third floor leads to the what library. Is it? Take a look. Oh my god, he made it! It's Leon! You know him? Yeah, it's Leon. Uh, Kennedy, I think? Oh, uh, the rookie. Thought he looked familiar. You can make it to that courtyard. The second floor. Marvin already knows him. Sort of. Okay. Thanks, Marvin. I'm on it. Maybe they pass his picture out. Be on the lookout for this asshole. He's beginning to be coming around and saying he's a police officer man or something. Okay. Uh, let's see. I want to do this. Because this is how we're going to do this one. No, not that. No! It's, it's... Ah, the run is trash. Bad inventory management. No! Ruined it. Soiled it. Gotta restart. Reset. Run over. And watch all those cutscenes again. Now, the other spade door is over there next to those bullets. So, by going there, you can ultimately discard your spade key. We'll have to hang on to it for a little while longer. That's alright. up this weapon locker key card and then this magazine that talks about this jewel which we will not be fussing with on this playthrough because all it does is get us the submachine gun and then an upgrade for the submachine gun which I don't need <laughs> so I'm not gonna worry about it I did go to the Leon playthrough though so if you watch that you will see how we do that and for the Magnum I mean you don't need the Magnum either, but it is a lot of fun. It's a good weapon. Okay, let's go outside and we'll do this cutscene. Mmm, that would hey. make sense. Claire? He'd be a uh, Leon's sergeant person. Leon! I'll be right there! You Baldwin looking mother. Where's your jammies? Yeah, kick it. Leon, we really gotta stop meeting like this. Are you all right? Police chopper, it just came out of nowhere. Yeah, I'm fine. I take it you don't have the key. No, I don't. It's good to see your face, though. How are you holding up? I am hanging in there. Hell of a night, huh? Yeah. You find your brother? I did, actually. He's... <laughs> Just me think it can't get any worse. Leon, you should get going. Oh, I should have grabbed that wooden plank up in the upstairs hallway. That's Don't worry right. about me. Just get yourself to safety. No, Leon, seriously, they're getting through the fence. Please, just go. We're gonna make it. Actually, both of us. Thinking about it, I'll have to check the map for a moment. I may not need this board at all. Hey, Marvin. This is bad. I've got zombies everywhere. Marvin? Marvin, are you there? Marvin, stop answering the radio. Marvin? Anyway, let me look at something. Oh, yeah, no, I don't, I don't need to do the boards. We're going to go down this hallway one more time and then never again. So I'll be fine. Leon has to go down this hallway again. So we don't need that, that board. Okay, so we got the bolt cutters. Bolt cutters are wonderful. We're also never be going to be coming through this part of the hallway again, so we're not worried about that guy. I mean, we want to avoid him, of course, but... Okay. So we want the flashbang. up some bullets, so we're going to kneecap this guy. Okay. I'm going to grab that gun. Down. Grab this gunpowder. And combine them in my inventory to make acid rounds. I'm going to grab the valve. And I'm going to grab... Now, no damage you made. Skip this part. Now, sometimes I've had zombies 
be there and sometimes not. I think if you stake too long in the room by the time you open it, all those three zombies from the prologue, uh, they'll start, they'll bust in the door because they'll hear you in there. Uh, they won't come out of the shadows though because zombies fear the light, I guess. I mean, sure, that's what we're going with, right? Anyway, so we need all this except we don't need the acid rounds. Uh, and we don't really need the flashbang yet, and we don't want to use it accidentally on a zombie. We'd rather take the hit and use some of our prodigious amount of healing items. Anyway, let's check on Marvin. Okay. Marvin! I gotta hurry. Okay. So, we can't go that way yet. We gotta use the bolt cutters. This place is still relatively safe, aside from extra zombies. Let's open this dining room. That's the club key. This guy. No problem. Just don't want him to hit you. There may be another guy. Up oh, there he is. We're gonna get another knife, it's fine. Oh, that was bad. I wasn't sure if he would be there or not. So they're gonna kick down that door. That's okay, we're gonna use up the bolt cutters. And we freed up an inventory spot. Yeah, I know, uh, Chief Irons hates stars. He, he thinks he thinks they're all turds. Get the electronic gadget. Get this herbs. This other flashbang. Ah, uh, we don't need the board. And that's a heart key. We can't use that. That's why we don't have to worry about boarding up those windows, though. Well, he's the chief. I mean, they do have to listen to him a bit. Uh, what are they? Special search and rescue. You're still dead, right? Okay, just checking. I don't like it how you guys don't despawn. It bugs me. Anyway, on this time through the west side, here we are now, going through the west side, weapons in hand, as we go for a ride. We get our grenades and our grenade launcher, which takes up one space. And we'll get these other grenade rounds. Then we're going to go upstairs we're going to get some more grenade rounds. Now, a flame round will kill a zombie in one hit. It is a terrible waste of a flame round, but it is hilarious. So, item box. Item box? Yeah, just in case. Yeah, because we're going to pick up a whole bunch of stuff here. Right? Well, item box. Okay, so I don't need you. I don't need you. I need you. And we're going to get rid of both of those, so that's fine. That would be a nice touch, yes, you are correct. So we killed all these zombies, so we don't have to worry about this. This is definitely something you want to do on Hardcore, since a zombie bite will put you in uh, the red. I still want an actual Brad Vickers zombie. Or a Brad Vickers mode, where you get to play as him. I want a mode, because they're going to do ghosts mode. Where people you play as people who died. I want a mode where you play as people who died in other games. <laughs> uh, more gunpowder. Gunpowder A. Yeah, no, that's fine. That's fine. And that's it for this area. So now we're in this hallway. And there's a thing up on the ceiling you can see. Now he's busy doing his spooky, spooky animation, so you can run. <laughs> You don't have to do the whole, I need to avoid him thing. Ooh, I probably shouldn't have picked that other one up. That's alright. You should be fine. Now, liquors are blind. So you can... That's a safe code, if you need it. There's a treasure in this desk later if you get the film from the sewers. It is... Kinda worth getting? Wait, no, this one would be the... Extended magazine for the submachine gun, or the lasers, uh, the red dot sight for the magnum. Which is not bad, but hardly necessary. Okay, and then Barry should have some gunpowder for us. Barry, you have gunpowder? I thought someone had gunpowder. There's a flashbang. I definitely want that. There's the gunpowder. Acid rounds. Okay. And there's a first aid spray, which 
Uh, honestly, this is too much crap. Way too much crap. Closed office isn't what? No, yeah, that's Wesker's, because Wesker's the captain. Barry's is the one with the uh, the guns on it. See? Um, so yeah, we're uh, we're going to go ahead and kill this guy for funsies, because by the end of the game, I'm going to have a disgusting amount of uh, grenade launcher ammo. Let's look for him. If you walk, he can't find you, because he's stupid. You can stand right next to him. He didn't give a shit. Reload this mother quick, because he will get back on his feet and ruin your day. That looks like dead. Maybe. Yeah, I dare say he's dead. Their head is a glaring weak point, but it takes a dumb amount of shotgun shells to kill them. I'm going to go ahead and kill him so I can run through this hallway later, because we may come do that. Claire has to get the diamond key, whereas Leon, it is an optional key. And this leads to a portable safe that has our other locker buttons. So it might be worth it for me, who's not trying to get an hour and a half long hardcore run mode, to um, come and get that so I can get the other side pouch. Oh yeah, no, Wesk is the captain. Well, he's captain, leader of the Alpha Squad, which, you know, by default makes him leader of the Bravo Squad. Uh, wait, Enrique is, is the uh, captain, or leader of the B Squad, but... Wesker is, I guess, supposed to be in charge of all of them. So we're going to go back the way we came, because we need to get back down up, rather, to the third floor to use our bomb. We made a bomb out of an electronic gadget and a battery. Don't do that, kids. It's dangerous. You'll blow, you'll, you'll shoot your eye out. Again, this is why we killed these zombies. Now, we didn't have to kill them. We could have just kneecapped them and gone about our merry way, but it works. Like I said, this isn't going to be optimized by any means, but we're going to do we're going to do a good, fairly good job when we can. Okay, so that's where we would have seen the liquor that's on the floor below us. We would have gotten a little spoop. But there's a note over here about hey, walk around the liquors and they can't find you. There are some liquors that uh, start aggroed to you, and so you have to fight them. Or, you know, duck them. Gunpowder? I don't have room for that. And the board, I don't care about. Well, we'll have room once we do the uh, C4. Bullets? We can take some bullets. There's only one bullet left, so we'll just leave it behind. This is where a side patch would be here, but it is not on hardcore, so we're not going to pick it up. Um, we're going to put the bomb here. Okay, now when this bomb goes off, this bookcase is going to fall over. Unless you do this. That makes the bookcase stay up. We don't know why. But it does. So, you know. Take it and run with it. Take that gunpowder now. That's alright, we'll go ahead and do this. This will get rid of an ass around. So this is in the thing. You can hear him, but it's fine. That's a zombie. So maiden, bow, snake is the answer to this one. And then this liquor is going to appear here. And it's going to get hit in the face with an ass round. Now she'll automatically reload flame rounds. Oh wow! I have not gotten a one shot on them before. That's wonderful. I think because I hit him in the dome with it. There's a zombie that fell down over here. And I don't know where he is. Wait. You look like you got back up. Oh, that got the zombie too. Oh. He ragdolled. Son of a bitch. See, when they ragdoll, that means they're in a dead animation. Lickers don't play possum like zombies do, though. He's all burnt up now. Yeah, but he clearly got back up. Cause I think that, yeah, because there's just the one. Huh. He was really acting like he was dead. Yeah, no, he, uh, he had a bad time. Anyway, this is the library. 
Um, if you go, try to go to that door, it will fall down. Uh, you'll fall down a hole and zombies will try to eat you. It is useful later. We will make use of that fact once there are no zombies in here. I do have some extra flame rounds. Now, if you were Leon, you would use a shotgun and you would dome some of the zombies that are in here. Like this bitch. We would dome her. So we would just set her on fire. This guy, he's gonna do that the whole game. He's he's having a hell of a good time. He doesn't give a shit. Uh, this zombie will get up. I don't know how he's much of a problem, but... We don't want to deal with him, so... Yeah. That should take care of them. Uh, so here's the book that you go put on the statue to get the red gem, which opens a box that gives you uh, a key to get to the magnum or the submachine gun. Here's a knife, which I want but can't have. That's alright, we can get it later. Wait, no, I need that. It sucks, because I need this stuff too. What are you? Yeah, fine. Uh, you can also use the square key to combine stacks of things. That was a terrible waste, but I need the item spot. There's your upstairs map. Uh, what are you? Fish, scorpion, elephant. Now I can grab this knife. I'd rather have the knife than the uh, pistol bullets. One that's face down is knife. Also, you can move more than one bookshelf at a time, and you should move one early. You can move three at a time, once we get that jack out of the way. Uh, there's more pistol bullets here. And like I said, he's... he's fine. He, he's... Any of the zombies I've seen that are eating someone, if you don't bother them, they don't give a shit. Oh, I could have... I could have used the key. Oh well, because now we can throw this away. That's okay, that just means we can pick up the other medallion. So that's fine, Zs. This went really well. Since I'm not trying to rush like uh, I was before, this should then be the arrow and the birdie. Uh, those all change on the B side. There's items we could still get, like there's still a couple herbs we could get, but we actually were pretty thorough for, you know, just playing through. Going fairly normal. What did we get hit? We got hit... We got hit in that first hallway. But other than then, other since then, we've done pretty good. That is true. I could have killed at least one zombie, potentially, with 11 bullets. Okay, so that's the secret passage under the Maiden of Justice in the museum that leads to the parking garage, which we could get to if the doors weren't all locked. Looks like it leads underground. Doesn't it, though? Good. Get out of this hellhole. Hey, Marvin! Guess what? I think I found the way out! Poor guy. Marvin, come on. Let's get you out of here. Let's go. <sighs> He's having a rough day. Are you okay? <sighs> Save yourself. Come on, it's bad. We gotta get you to hospital Please, now. Claire. We both know how this is going to end. Get out of the city. I can't just leave you here. Claire, please, go. Do this for me. He just wants somebody to live, damn it. Okay. Hey, Marvin. Thank you. Um, on the nature of Marvin's wound, uh, fairly common zombie lore, and I know it's established in Caliban Cove, which is probably one of my favorite of the non-canon books. It's just an original story they wrote. Um, 
there was a, a, an obsessive compulsive woman who was on their team, because why not? And she touched a bit of dried blood on a gurney and rubbed her eye and became a zombie. Because it doesn't take a hell of a lot. Uh, is there anything else in here? I think that's it. Let me use the box and then I'll save. Um, so, with regards to Marvin's wound, we don't know if it was... We don't know if it was like a scratch or a bite or whatever, but he could have gotten zombie blood in it, and that would also do it. Uh, I mean, I'm okay with both of these. I have a lot of grenades. Uh, huh, 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 huh. The Heelys. Okay. But I'm going to try to do something stupid. <laughs> Something that's been going around the internet tonight, and is delightful. I'm gonna try and fight the first boss with a knife. I've never done it before. It's probably not gonna go great, but we can always use the knife as a defensive item if he grabs us, and then we'll just blow him up with grenades because I have a ton of them. And we're only getting more. Now the thing about the flame grenades is you only get what you find throughout the game, and that's all you get because the only grenades you can make are acid rounds. I went through the entire first time I played this her mode thinking that I was going to get like a different color of gunpowder to make acid or, or make fire or make explosive rounds. It's like, no. You find flame rounds and you make acid rounds. So here's a hand grenade. It's not a self-defense item. Uh, and then over here is where I would get the... Silencer? Silencer for the Uzi, which is... I mean, sure... Uh, it's probably better on B side than A side, because you get it. You can get the the third weapon a lot easier on the B side. Anyway, so we need to go this way. I like this a lot better than Leon's version of this. Hello. So that's that. Hello. Okay, man, we got a whole brand new fresh knife, fresh from the library. I guess we could get a knife out of the uh, armory too. Is there, is there a herb over here? No. It's in there. It's in there once we can get into it. Okay, well, we'll just move this. We're, we're super strong like Leon. Oh, shit. This is heavy. Come on, Lara. Put you back into it. Try harder than two seconds. Hello? There's a babby. Hey. It's okay. I won't hurt you, I promise. Do you need help? Here, you can take my hand. I'm sorry, I can't understand you. You need help. Why? He's right behind you. That's so good. What? Phrasing could have been a little better. Could have been because he's behind you. Or because of him. So good. Hi, William. Okay. So William's having also having kind of a bad day. You gotta be kidding me. So let's see how this goes. I don't know if it's gonna go well. William spends a lot of time staggering as his monster side tries to take control of him. When I saw people kind of stuck to his left side, if you can get some shots on the eye, great. It takes about 22 of these. Oh, he grabbed us. So we're going to stab him. And we're going to shoot him. to kite him, make sure you don't go in any of these little alcoves, because that's pretty much a free chance for him to whack you. Gotta get pretty close with the grenade launcher until you get the uh, upgrade for it. Also, even with 
the speed loader. This thing kind of sucks. I went in one of these little rooms. We have hand grenade. Not the best I've done against him, but not the worst. Actually, probably the worst. No, the first time was probably the worst. Well, I mean, what do we use? Two grenades? Maybe... What I had? I had 60 bullets. We'll check. I usually have a lot less bullets after that fight, so... The knife definitely, uh, definitely did good work. And there's another grenade down here, so I don't care about using it. Hey, little girl. It's safe now. It's over. And we still have like three full heals in the box, and there's another full heal down here. Are you sure? Yeah, I promise. Everything's fine. Well, it's the kind of thing you could practice too. I just need you to lower that ladder for me. Will you help me find my mom? Your mom is down here? I think so. I hope so. Oh, she just melts your heart. Yeah. Of course. I'll help you.